How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to this new episode of Restorations with Vic. What we're gonna be working on today is a pair of 2012 Air Jordan Playoff 12s. When I first bought the shoe on eBay, I thought I was purchasing the 2004 Retro, considering how yellow and beat this shoe was. But when I got it in the mail, I checked the tag, and it's actually from 2012. This shoe is just really, really beat. So what I'm gonna be doing on this shoe is removing all the yellowing off the soles, touching up the uppers, and of course, giving the shoe a massive, massive deep clean using Rejuminator products. This shoe's gonna need a lot of work, guys, so you already know, let's get to it. We're also gonna wanna take out our insole. This thing's a freaking boat, guys. Freaking whale. So for this cleaning, we are gonna need Rejuvenator's three bursting alarm system. We are putting the shoe in the washing machine. So let's go ahead and put this box to the side, grab our bowl, squirt a couple of squirts of our solution, and start off using our soft bristle brush. The reason why I like using this brush is because it creates the most suds and it breaks down the dirt the fastest. So what I'm doing right now is hitting the entire uppers in a circular motion to break down the dirt. I'm not really focusing on any spots in particular. I'm just trying to focus on getting the entire shoe soaked. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Let's grab our insole and do the exact same with the soft bristle brush. All right, I think the inserts are good, guys. We're gonna let the washing machine take care of the rest. Now we're gonna focus on the leather uppers. We're gonna be using the all-purpose leather brush to really try to get these stains out of the white leather. The soles are the toughest part in this cleaning. As you can see, we got some I think it's, I think it's mud. I don't know what it is. It might be candy. I don't know. Um, it's on the shoe though, so we gotta use the stiff sole brush to try to get that stuff out. So here's the progress on the sole so far. Overall, they're looking a lot better than what they used to look like. We got that gunk that was on this area, mostly off. We still have some on the insides. I gotta brush that off still. The sides, this area right here specifically, did not budge at all. Um, so we're gonna try to use the brass bristle brush to get that stuff out. I'm pretty sure it'll work. All right guys, that took a while. I'm freaking sweating, I'm tired. My brass bristle brush is pretty much ruined. I did so much scrubbing on this shoe to get as much of the stains out. I think it did a pretty good job overall. I did a lot, a lot of scrubbing. Took forever. This cleaning might have taken only a few minutes on video, but in reality, this took close to an hour. Did so much scrubbing. So let's wrap up this cleaning by putting the shoes inside our magic bag so you can put them in the washing machine. Time for the washing machine, guys. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy inside. Grab our handy dandy Rejuvenator detergent. All we need is one ounce. Pour it inside on the shoe. Boom. So we are cleaning one shoe only, guys, so all we need is a small cycle with cold water. Boom. Boom. Shoe is fully clean and dried. Looks good, it's clean, creases are out. Inside smell pretty good too, good to go. I do wanna mention there is no separation on the shoe just for this little piece right here, but that was there before I put the shoe in the washing machine. Same thing with the plastic tabs on both sides, fully intact, no cracking. So now moving on with this restoration, we're gonna try to move the yellowing off the soles. There is a lot of yellowing. I'm hoping it's gonna come out just fine. We might need, we might need to do several sessions to get this yellowing out. 
As always, we're gonna use Surround Care 40 and some Saram Wrap. So like I mentioned a few videos ago, we are in the middle of packing up. So most of my stuff is in boxes, including my indoor setup. So to remove the yellowing on the shoe, we're gonna rely on the sun. Really simple, same process. We're gonna apply the Salon Care 40 and a piece of Saran Wrap. We're gonna take it outside and let the sun take care of the rest. I do want to mention the shoe has a lot of yellowing, so we're going to break it up into three different parts. We're going to focus on this side first. Once the yellowing is off, we're going to focus on the other side. And once this side's done, we'll focus on the soles. All right, so this is the third session I gave in this shoe. The yellowing is deep on this side, on both sides actually, but it looks overall really good. I don't want to throw that away. I'm just gonna wipe it off real quick. Look at this side. Back to overall white. I think I've given it enough sessions. Any more, I think I don't think it'll make much of a difference. This side, super yellow. Same thing with the soles. I still have to hit the soles. Looks a lot better though. So. That took a really long time. Each side on this shoe took about three to four hours to fully remove the yellowing. Um, the yellowing was deep inside this rubber. Typically on the rubber on 12s, the rubber is a lot thicker. The yellowing just took forever to fully take out. As you can see on the befores, it's pretty yellow. Check out the afters. Like I said, this took almost like a full day to take out the yelling off the shoe. It was about nine hours in total, three hours on this side, three hours over here, and three hours on the sole. There's still some yelling over here. It just didn't want to come out. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how these look. They just look a lot better than this shoe over here. So moving on with this restoration, since I did have the shoe outside for a really long time, I did get small separation on the shoe. For example, over here, some very small separation occurred thanks to the sun and same thing over here. So you wanna be careful if you have the shoe outside in the sun, it can cause separation if it's out there for a long period of time. Keep an eye on it, make sure this doesn't happen to your shoes. We're gonna be using acetone and cotton swabs to go in, remove the old glue, then we're gonna apply some new barge and cement glue onto the separation, clamp it together, and that should be good to go, and then move on with this restoration. Glue job's complete, guys, on both sides. It was very minimal and very easy. Now let's get into some painting. Originally, in the beginning of the video, under all that dirt and grime, I thought I was gonna have to do a full leather repaint like I did on the Varsity Red Sixes from last week. But after removing all that dirt and grime, I'm realizing it's just a couple of scratch marks on the white leather, such as right there or over here. Very minimal, it's nothing crazy. I do also gotta touch up the edges of the white leather. It's pretty faded and just, you know, worn off. Super easy. I could take care of that real quick with an angular brush and some white paint. When I'm done with the white, I'm gonna move on to painting the black. The black is super easy. It's super easy to lay down. White takes a few more coats, but for the black, it's just one or two coats to cover up this big old scuff area. And same thing over here. After that, that's pretty much it. We'll cover it up with Krylon Matte Finish and wrap up this video. All right, so we take care of the white, now let's move on to the black. We're gonna be using Angela's Flat Black Paint. 
with the same angular brush. Laying down the black was super easy, took a couple of coats, nothing too hard. The white was just as easy as well. Luckily, the paint that I mixed was a perfect match to the slight, slight off-white that the uh, white leather has. So now, all we gotta do now to protect this paint job is to go outside, spray it with some Krylon matte finish, and lace it up. Okay guys, that is going to bring us to an end on this full restoration on these Playoff 12s. As you can see, the before and after is a huge difference. The biggest part about this before is the yellowing. On this shoe specifically, the yellowing was deep inside the sole. It took a full day to remove the yellowing on each side of the shoe, including the bottom. There is still a slight yellow tint on the sole, but if I would have given it another day, I think it would have just not made much of a difference. At this point, I think it just tapped out. Let's go ahead and compare the yellowing over here and over here. Night and day difference, guys. To make this restoration possible, we had to give the shoe a full deep clean inside and out, get rid of all the germs, get rid of all those odors, get rid of all that dirt and grime that was collected over the years and years of wear and tear on the shoe. Once the shoe was fully pre-treated, we put it inside our sneaker laundry bag, went to the washing machine, put some detergent inside, and gave it a full, full deep clean, got the insides fully cleaned out, the shoe looked good, got the creasing out as well. Once the cleaning was done, we removed the yellowing, took a full day on that, repainted the uppers, touched up the white, touched up the black, and sprayed it with matte finish. And I also did some slight re-glues on this side of this back piece and over here. Overall, the shoe came out fantastic, way better than I expected. And honestly, it was super easy to do. You can definitely do this at home. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of our products, any of our brushes, solutions, shoe trees, bowl, laundry bag, detergent, towels, head over to rejuvenator.com. Check out the description below. I have a promo code right there, guys. Save some money and use it. This is Vic Almighty right here. See you guys next Monday.